The gentleman is recognized for one minute. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to highlight the dangerous crisis our nation is experiencing on our southern border. Two weeks ago, on a tour of my district, I had the honor of meeting law enforcement officers in Clay, Madison, and McDowell counties. These counties are in different, very different parts of North Carolina's sprawling 11th district, yet these officers all shared with me that the number one problem they face every day, number one, is the flow of fentanyl into our mountains. Keep in mind that Western North Carolina is a thousand miles away from the southern border. And yet because of the Biden administration's lax border policies, every state is now a state. Uh, every state is now a border state and we're all suffering from the consequences. Since day one, this administration has ceded control of our southern border to drug cartels and dangerous gangs. In addition to fentanyl, we've seen a flow of unlawful migrants and illicit contraband pour into our country at rates never seen before. And China is a key source of the ingredients used to make fentanyl that's killing our children and fueling Gen this crisis to affect Gentlemen, so Simon many. Fire. There needs to be a change. Thank you. I yield back. Gentleman yields back. For what purpose, the gentlewoman? For